Welcome back viewers. Today we will be testing the narrow bandpass filter. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform. Or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I've spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I've created a Patreon account. I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that... I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our discord server again if you have not signed up for our discord then you need to do that as well it is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading and again if you want to support the channel with patreon then you can find the link down below in the description all right, as I said, today we will be testing the narrow bandpass filter. 
But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 135 indicators. And out of those 135 indicators, 56 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 56 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right. So today's indicator is the narrow band pass filter. You can see it here down on the bottom of the screen. It is a trading view member created indicator. And so of course you can find a link to it down below in the description. Uh, all in all, like I said, it's a pretty simple setup. It's just a single line uh, and it changes colors. And so I'm actually going to, in my typical fashion, go in and make a few modifications. There we go. And so now you can see it is red and it is green. When it turns green, that is an indicator, a signal to go long. When it turns red, that is a signal to go short. Pretty simple, all in all, like I said, not a whole lot to it. So let's get on with testing today's indicator. See what we can get out of it. All right, so we have our first signal right there. That is a short signal. Question is, did that stop us out? It did not. And so that is our first win. So far, so good. Not too bad. We go, we pick up another signal right there. That is a signal to go long. Let's see. Right there. Did not quite stop us out there and did get us to first take profit. So another good signal, not too bad, all in all. Moving along here, price action consolidating there, starting to push its way down some now. We pick up a short on that one. And that one definitely got us to take profits. And so now as we are moving, uh, into more and more indicators, especially the ones that are created by TradingView members. Um, I have a feeling that what we're going to find is that uh, a reasonable majority of them are going to be relatively good indicators that do a pretty decent job. Um, it would stand to reason that most of the People creating indicators on TradingView are doing so because they are traders and they can see the advantage of using a particular indicator. And so maybe they uh, recreate it, do some tweaks to it, and then publish it. And so, uh, like I said, I have a feeling that we'll see a fair number of really decent indicators uh, that come up. So... All right, price action, what's it doing there? Looks like it is spiking back up here to these highs. It is kind of just 
consolidating somewhat, just kind of ranging here. Let's see, follow it, follow it, follow it. Let's see what it does. We picked up a long signal right there. And it eventually goes long. But came down quite a bit. Didn't quite stop us out. So another winning trade. All right. Price action here is pushing up, 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 up. Pretty far up here. Uh, it's up here hitting some significant levels of uh, resistance to the upside. Right in this area right here. As you can see price action has bounced off that area multiple times before it broke it here. Um, and now it is pulling up to this area after a pretty, uh, pretty long run to the upside. We are also picking up a short signal right at that area. Which means that we are getting a nice confluence of uh, support and resistance along with a call from the indicator. And so uh, I have a feeling that we're going to see it uh, start to uh, make its way down a little bit here. Of course they may run a, uh, a fake out here. Bumping it up just a little bit above this line. Which would pull in some long breakout traders looks like we did pick up our first loss though right here as it did switch back to along over here on this side Let's see what it does here yep as I suspected pulled in some long breakout traders here then it shoved it back down most likely wiping out uh, some of their stops. It's now coming back up to retest this area. We'll probably come up here then start to pull back off of this area right here. A lot of consolidation up here. Accumulation um, of uh, short positions. Surely. Let's see. Did we get... don't think we quite hit take profit we did not and so we pick up the second uh, losing trade there and we did get a short signal over here which would have gotten us to take profit so that's really decent all right it's pulling up to that area and boom as I suspected it came up kissed that area rejected it hard still have a short signal on the indicator now that they've ran it down a little bit here they're gonna try to shove it back up uh, it's a pretty strong move up there I'm surprised we didn't get a long on our indicator I'd be surprised if it like breaks clean through up here it's probably gonna come up here and hit this area start to consolidate a little bit maybe push down for a second before uh, it moves one direction or another and yeah, there we go yeah so it came up bounced off that area had a slight pullback um, jumped back up we got a long signal right there that did work out for us got us to take profit let's see they're pulling it back to that area let's see we picked up a short right here that would have worked out for us. We then get along over here for just one candle before it gives us a short. 
uh, go in the opposite direction. Let's see, so price action has made some pretty decent headway to the upside here. It's now reversing, starting to come back this direction. It's had a pretty strong push though. Um, not sure, it might push down a little bit farther, then come back to retest, or it might come back to retest right here. Looks like it's probably hitting uh, a decent, uh, decent fib retracement here. Yeah, it's come down to hit the uh, 618. Yeah, see, it couldn't quite hold that level. Did a pullback uh, and actually uh, broke back up above that area, trying to take off there. Let's see, we got a short signal here. And it barely, 90 pips, yeah. Barely, barely got us to take profit. Then it bounced up here. Let's see if we can get a long signal. Man, really shoving that thing up hard. It's now running into this area over here. Support and resistance. Well, support, uh, resistance, excuse me. Resistance is overhead, support is down below. And strong push up here. Surely we're going to see it bounce right at this level. Uh, it's highly doubtful it's going to sustain a, a push just smashing up and running much longer. Yeah, there we go. Pushed up, broke through it, bounced along for a moment, and then pulled its way back down. We did pick up a long signal, but it was right here, pretty much at the top of that move. Probably the worst possible time for it to give us signal. Then it shoved it down here. Now we've had a strong move down. Again, probably running into the 618 fib and so now uh, we'll probably see it uh, bounce off this area a little bit right here there we go now it's bouncing along um, at this point they've uh, shoved it down see it made this massive move up here uh, it was a lot of stair stepping going on, but they did. And then they rolled it over here. They pulled it back. They're consolidating right here in this area, uh, probably setting up for the next move to the downside, if I had to guess. And we get a short signal right there. It's definitely worked out for us. Um, said they're accumulating positions right here in this area. Uh, most likely now we're going to see another push to the downside. We've had one push, a pullback, consolidation, and then we will most likely see a push to the downside. In the very near future here let's see what it does accumulation 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 picking up oh they shoved it to the upside and so this is uh this is the game they play for sure there we go and now that uh now that they've pushed it back up to the upside here they've gotten in all kinds of long traders uh, everybody's looking at this going, ah, oh, yes, it's going to spike out here and take off again. And uh, 
most likely they're just pulling in a bunch of long positions so they can shove it back to the downside. We are almost to the end of the year. Yep, there is the end of the year there. Let's see, we picked up a short signal on it before it actually shoved back up to these highs. They kind of create a cup and handle here. And so this is possible it could break out there, but I would be surprised. Let's see what they do. And they let it go. So sometimes you can figure it out. Sometimes you can't. It's about doing it more times. It's about being right more often than you are wrong. All right. So there we have it. That's what we're looking at. Uh, let's count them up and see what we got. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So we got fifteen trades, fifteen signals all together, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And so that squeezes us right over the 60% marker. Not by much, but over the marker nonetheless. Um, all in all, not a bad indicator. Seemed like it was calling uh, some pretty good spots. Um, yeah, all in all, it, it wasn't bad at all. So uh, I like it. Um, and it will definitely go on the yes list for now. So... Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll move on to the next indicator from here. If you have not already, like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the